Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how you can set up a turtle tank for the lowest price possible. If you find this video helpful in any way, please do consider subscribing. I upload aquarium content twice a week, but with that being said, let's get started. First things first, I wanna say that most aquatic turtles get anywhere from eight to 12 inches fully grown. So if you don't have or aren't willing to get a tank anywhere from 75 to 120 gallons, then I do not recommend getting a turtle in the first place. Crested geckos and leopard geckos are a couple really cool reptiles that are easy to care for and don't get as big. But if you are willing to get a big enough tank when that time comes and just need a smaller, cheaper option right now, and this is the video for you. And here's how this video is gonna work. In the first part, I'm just going to sit here and tell you everything you need to set up a turtle tank. In the second part, I'm going to tell you where you can get it for the cheapest price. And then in the third part, I'm actually going to go get everything myself so you guys can see what I got, where I got it, and how much it was. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is tank size. The general rule of thumb is 10 gallons of water per inch of shell. For example, you have a four inch turtle, it needs at least 40 gallons of water. Most of you are probably looking at getting a baby turtle, which are usually around like one or two inches. So for that reason, I'm gonna say the minimum tank size you should get is 20 gallons. If your turtle is bigger, then just use that same rule to determine the correct tank size. But now we're going to get into the tank setup. Aquatic turtles spend most of their time in the water, but also need a dry land area to get out of the water and bask. Basking is basically sunbathing. And we'll talk about lamps and lighting here in a minute. There are many different ways you can create this basking area. You can simply stack up rocks above the water level. You can make a above tank basking area, which is what I have right up there. But they also make these like floating basking docks, which are super easy to set up, use, and clean. So that's what I'm going to recommend you guys should get for your tank. As for the basking lamp, Turtles not only need a heat bulb, but they also need a UVB bulb. UVB is a kind of light that produces vitamin D3 and also helps the turtle properly use calcium and other nutrients. So it is very important to make sure you have both of these bulbs. They make these dual lamp fixtures, which is what I have right up there. They also make these like complete lamp and bulb kits. So you can just have everything in one. This lamp is gonna be sitting on a screen lid directly on top of the tank. Because of this, the water level should be significantly lower than the top of the tank. The distance between the basking dock and the lamp actually depend on the wattage of the bulbs. I'll have a little thing on the screen here regarding that. Just pause it if you need to. You'll need to replace these bulbs after a while. I think it should say on the box how long that is. But that's pretty much it for lighting. Now onto the substrate. Do not use aquarium gravel. Your turtle can mistake it for food and eat it and choke and die. So, no, don't use aquarium gravel. Larger gravel is fine as long as it's big enough to where your turtle can't fit it in its mouth. But I recommend you just use sand for your turtle tank. Just make sure you rinse it before putting it in the tank. Now onto the filter. Turtles are messy animals. So you wanna get a filter that's meant for at least two to three times as big a tank. So if you're getting a 20 gallon tank, you should get at least a 40 gallon filter. The Topfin IF40 is a really good filter for turtle tanks. They also make these filters that are specifically meant for turtles. I really don't see a difference. If you wanna get one of those, you can. But now onto the water heater. Most turtles prefer a water temperature between 78 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. They make heaters specifically for turtles that have like a protective cage around it so the turtle can't bite it. I personally don't think that matters that much. Just make sure you get the right size heater for your tank. And those are pretty much all these essentials to having a turtle tank. I'm not going to cover what to feed your turtle in this video. Just research that based on your specific species. But yeah, enough water, basking spot, basking lamp, substrate, filter, heater. That's pretty much it. Of course, you can add decorations if you want your tank to look pretty, but it's not exactly needed. I have plenty of decorations in mine just because I think it looks cool. But how can you get these things for the lowest price possible? Very simple. Facebook Marketplace, Let Go, Craigslist. Guys, these websites are gold mines for aquariums. The other day I saw literally an entire turtle tank set up for $40. If you don't believe me, just keep watching this video because I guarantee you find another crazy deal. So many people are scared to buy things used, but guys, if you want to save money on a turtle tank, this is the best thing you can do. Also, say you find a good deal, but you're still missing the heater or a light bulb, and you decide you just wanna to go to PetSmart and buy it new. Before you buy anything from Petco or PetSmart, price match it. Look the product up on Chewy.com or Petco.com. If the product is on there, it will be cheaper, so show it to the cashier and they will sell it to you for that price. I've been sitting here talking for long enough. Now I'm actually going to go out and do everything I just told you guys, so you can see it for yourself. Here we go. All right, so it's a little while later. I'm going to go ahead and open, we'll start with Facebook Marketplace. So I just went ahead and typed in turtle tank on Facebook Marketplace, and these are the first couple that pop up. Right here we got, looks like it's just the tank, so we're gonna keep going. We're looking for like a whole kit. I'm gonna try and get one for $50 or lower. So like we can obviously negotiate a little bit, so we're gonna try and find one in like the uh, 70, 80 range, try and get them down to 50, if we can. Got a pretty good setup here. Looks like three lamps and a bunch of other stuff for a hundred bucks, but we're gonna keep looking. Look at this, it's literally a truckload of tanks for $15. I just went ahead and searched for 20 gallon aquarium because that's the size tank we're looking for. Oh, here we go, look at this. We got a 20 gallon tank with the screen lid with two lamps for 50 bucks. We're gonna go ahead and ask if this is still available. There we go. 
So we'll wait for her to get back and uh, we'll just keep looking. Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and open up LetGo. This is just another like resale app. There wasn't really too much on Facebook Marketplace, so I'm going to see if there's anything better on LetGo. I'm gonna type in turtle tank. There we go. Not really a whole lot of turtle stuff. Here we go. Boom, look at this. 20 gallon tank, it has the screen lid, it has the lamp. Let's see, this is the only picture. It has the turtle dock that I was literally talking about a second ago. I see a heater in there. Don't see a filter. We're gonna go ahead and ask this guy if it's still available. Yeah, um, I don't see a filter. There might be one like behind the lamp, but we're gonna try and get this guy down a little bit. We're gonna wait for that other girl on Facebook Marketplace to respond and I will get back to you when someone responds. All right, well, it's literally been two minutes. He already responded. He said, yes, it's still available. I'll just say no cracks or leaks, right? Yeah, just to make sure. Let's wait for him to respond. All right, he just responded. He said, nope, tank is pretty much brand new. Only use it for a couple weeks. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make an offer. I'm going to start at $40 just to try and bring him down at least a little bit. I don't expect him to take 40 bucks. Can you do $40? Now we wait. All right, he just responded. He said, I can do 50. I'm gonna try and get him down to 45, but if he won't go down, then I'll just take it for 50. But I'm going to say, I'll say 45 and you've got a deal. He just responded. He said, all right, to 45 bucks. Boom, I'm actually really surprised about that. It's usually not that easy, but uh, now I'm going to go ahead and say, when slash where do you want to meet? He responded, he said he wants to meet at the Burger King on blah 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 street. Anytime today or tomorrow would be fine for me. How's 4 p.m. tomorrow? Send. And while we're waiting for a response, just a couple tips if you do decide to meet up with someone to buy the tank. Don't go alone. It's always good to have someone with you just in case anything dangerous happens. So when I go, I'm probably going to bring my buddy Miles with me. But if you absolutely can't get anyone to go with you, then tell people where you're going and when. So if anything were to happen, someone else would know. And also when you do meet up with them, go somewhere that often has people there. So like a crowded parking lot, like any restaurant parking lot is a great place. Basically just like don't go to a creepy empty parking lot at night or something. And he said tomorrow at four works for him. I'm also gonna let him know what kind of car I drive so he knows what to look for. That's always a good thing to do or ask the other person what kind of car they drive. And there we go. That's how easy it is. Now we just gotta go pick it up tomorrow at four. I'll see you then. So it's now the next day. Sorry if the lighting's horrible. It's really bright out, but I'm on my way to go pick up this turtle tank. I've got about a 25 minute drive, so I'll see you when I get there. All right, I'm here at Burger King. I'm about five minutes early, so we're gonna wait on our guy to get here. We got the stuff. And there it is. I was gonna try and record the audio of like me buying it, but he kind of caught me by surprise. He just kind of rolled up right next to me. So, uh, but yeah, we got it. Everything is there, everything looks great. It didn't come with a filter and it didn't come with either of the light bulbs. So in total, we just have the tank, the screen lid, the lamp, the turtle dock, and the heater. So I'm actually gonna run over to PetSmart on the way back. I'm gonna get those two light bulbs, which is actually fine because for my actual turtle tank, I need to get replacement light bulbs anyway. So I'm gonna grab those, I'm going to grab a filter, and I'm also gonna grab some sand for this tank. So let's go to PetSmart. These are the two bulbs I'm getting, and they actually have a sale going on. Buy one, get one 50% off. So that's lit. This is the filter I'm getting. I just looked it up on PetSmart.com. I can price match it for, and I'll save like $3. Get the one in the back. I also just grabbed this bag of black sand. We got everything we need, let's get out of here. All right guys, just got done inside of PetSmart. Got everything we need. We're gonna head home and set this up. Here, we have everything you need to keep a turtle. Let's go over everything we got. First of all, we have the dual lamp fixture. No bulbs though. This is actually the same brand and everything as the one I have. I got a 25 pound bag of black sand. This bag was $20. If you want to save extra money, you can actually get sand from Home Depot or Lowe's. Just make sure you rinse it out really good. I did go ahead and get this because this is the same stuff I have in my 55. I'm going to be redoing my 55 soon, so I needed more black sand. We also got the Top Fin IF40 internal filter. This is the same one that I have on my 25 gallon tank. Works super well. We got both of the light bulbs for the lamp fixture right here. This is the heat bulb. This is the UVB bulb. These are the exact ones that I had before in my turtle tank. It's been a while since I've replaced them, so I went 
ahead and got these. These are a bit pricey. I think this one was 10 and this one was 20. So if you can try and get these from Facebook Marketplace or LetGo, but if you can't get them, look it up on PetSmart.com, Petco.com or Chewy.com to price match it. I didn't find either of these bulbs on any of those websites. I did price match the filter though. That saved me like $4. We have a tiny little heater right here. Perfect size for this tank. We have the floating turtle dock. This is what the turtle will climb up onto to bask. Then we have the tank itself. It's in great condition. He said he just cleaned it and he only used it for a couple weeks. Looks good as new, honestly. Same with the screen lid. He took good care of everything. But yeah, let's start setting this thing up. So I am going to be setting this tank up just right here on the ground. I'm just setting up this tank for the video. I'm gonna keep this tank though. I'll probably need it eventually for something. But for now, we're just gonna have it here on the ground. So the first thing we're gonna do is rinse out the sand. I'm just gonna pour some of the sand into this bucket. That should be good. Now I'm just gonna go run some water through this. There we go. I'm actually gonna dump this water into this pitcher. So if any sand comes out of the bucket, it'll just go in the pitcher and then I can dump this like outside. All right, well, my camera just died. I'm filming on the phone, but as you can see, I just got pretty much all the water out. I'm going to put the sand in the tank. start filling it with water. By the way, remember to dechlorinate your water. This is what I used. I also have a couple other ones. They're all fine. They're pretty much the same. Just make sure you do that. I'm going to go grab one more bucket of water and then we're going to set up the rest of the tank. That's actually where we're going to stop it because it's getting to about the distance where the lamps need to be. I'm going to go ahead and set up the filter. this there we go all right i'm gonna put this right back in this corner i'm gonna have the bottom of it right above the sand level so we don't want it to suck up a bunch of sand so give it a little bit of space i'm gonna plug that in and boom now i'm going to go ahead and hook up the heater we're just gonna put that right next to the filter there we go we're going to set up the turtle dock You just take these two pegs and stick them through these two holes. And then you stick on all the suction cups. Looks like we're missing the suction cup. Uh, yeah, that sucks. It should still work with three though. There we go. Suction cups are on. We're gonna put that in this corner. What's really cool about this thing is that whenever the water level raises or lowers, the dock will actually go with the water level. So the turtle will always have no problem getting up there. And the last thing to set up is the lamp. So we're gonna go ahead and put the screen lid back on. Got the lamp fixture right here. We're gonna pop these bulbs out of the boxes. This is the UVB bulb. There we go. Here's the heat bulb. And there we go. We're gonna set this right above the basking area and we're gonna plug both of them in. And there it is. There's our completed turtle tank setup. Got the filter and heater. That filter though is kicking up a lot of sand. So I think I'm gonna put a rock right there to stop the flow. Floating basking dock and the two basking lamps. That's pretty much it. Like I said before, you can add some plants and other decorations to spice up the tank. But those of course are not necessary. Also, I should mention if you want to put fish or your turtle in here, like right when you set it up, it's a good idea to add some quick start or this other thing called Fritz Turbo Start. What this does is basically it just gets beneficial bacteria in the water. There's this big thing called the nitrogen cycle, which basically makes your aquarium a working ecosystem. But this is basically it for the turtle tank. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Even if you didn't go with this exact setup, I still hope you could take something away from this video. But that is going to do it for this video. And I do have today's comment of the day. And that goes out to... Too much duck HD. Love the vids, keep up the grind. Thank you and I definitely will. I have a lot of videos coming here in the near future, so stay tuned. But if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.